hello friends i hope you like my videos and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment so friends in this video we will discuss about the quality control laboratory in pharmaceutical industry so basically we will discuss in this video that overall the function of quality control laboratory in the pharmaceutical industry and a basic overview of quality control laboratory right so friends my youtube channel name is pharma quality so please view like comment and subscribe my channel to get the knowledge about the pharma quality standards and practices so friends in this slide we will discuss what is quality control laboratory in pharmaceutical industry right so basically in pharmaceutical industry a qc lab plays a critical role in ensuring the safety efficacy and quality of pharmaceutical products QC labs are responsible for testing of raw materials in process samples and finished products to ensure they meet the required standards set by the regulatory authorities such as the FDA or uh, European Medicine Agencies that is EMA right so apart from this QC labs employ a range of analytical techniques they use uh, such as chromatography spectroscopy microscopy and various wet chemistry method to analyze the different samples right these this helps to identify the uh, you know uh, known and un unknown impurities which are available uh, uh, into the products and uh, verify the concentration of the active pharmaceutical ingredients and assess the stability of formulation and confirm its adherence to established specification right so these are the basic uh, you know structure of quality control laboratory so friends in this slide we will discuss the primary objectives of a quality control laboratory right so here major part i have covered that may have more than uh, these objectives right so first one is ensuring compliance so qc lab must ensure that pharmaceutical products comply with regulatory standards and guidelines so basically this involves the performing test according to approved protocol and documenting the results accurately right second one is uh, maintaining product quality so by conducting rigorous testing qc labs help to maintain the quality and consistency of pharmaceutical products basically this includes monitoring parameters such as you know potency purity and stability throughout the manufacturing processes third is identifying and resolving issues so qc labs plays a crucial role in identifying any deviations from specification or unexpected result so when uh, issue is arises then uh, qc lab work closely with other departments such as manufacturing and r and d to investigate root cause and implement corrective action right fourth one is supporting product release so before a pharmaceutical products can be released for distribution it must undergo through the testing in the qc lab to ensure it meets all quality requirements right so the qc labs provide the necessary data and documentation to support the product re release decision right so now we will discuss what are the importance of quality control in pharmaceutical manufacturing right so basically quality control in pharmaceutical manufacturing are having a various importance roles for several regions so we will discuss one by one here right so first is patient safety so qc ensures that pharmaceutical products meet stringent quality standards minimizing the risk of adverse effect or harm to patients by testing of impurities potencies and uh, other critical pra parameters and uh, qc helps to ensure the safety of the final products right next is product efficacy so qc verifies the pharmaceutical product contain the correct amount of active pharmaceutical ingredient and are formulated in a manner that ensures the efficacy so this helps ensure that patients receive the intended therapeutic uh, benefits from the medication right next is regulatory compliance so pharmaceutical manufacturing is subject to strict regulatory requirements enforced by agencies such as the fda and ema compliance with these guidelines is essential for product approval and market access so basically qc ensures that products meets regulatory standards and guidelines 
so next is brand reputation so high quality pharmaceutical products contribute to a positive brand reputation consistently delivering safe effective and reliable medications help to build trust with healthcare professional patients and regulatory authorities which enhancing the company reputation in the market right next is risk mitigation so quality control helps to identify and mitigate the risk throughout the manufacturing processes by monitoring the critical parameters and conducting thorough testing so qc can detect deviation or issue on early stage right which are allowing uh, for prompt corrective action to prevent the product failure or uh, the market recalls right so basically uh, quality control lab uh, plays a very vital role in the pharmaceutical industry to ensure the uh, product efficacy and patient safety right so now we will discuss the different functions of quality control laboratories right so here we will discuss the all different functions of qc laboratory right so first one is the raw material testing qc lab analyze the incoming raw materials to ensure that they meet the quality specification before they are used into the manufacturing processes this may involve the testing of uh, you know identity purity potency and other relevant parameters based on the uh, internal standard testing procedure or as per the uh, different uh, monograph right next is in process testing so throughout the manufacturing processes qc labs perform in process testing to monitor critical parameters and ensure the product is being manufactured according to established specification right so basically this helps to identify any deviation on early stage which are allowing for corrective action to be taken before the final product uh, is made right next is finished product testing so once uh, manufacturing is completed then qc labs conduct comprehensive testing on finished pharmaceutical product to verify their quality safety and efficacy so this includes testing for potency purity uh, maybe sometime a dissolution test content uniformity microbial contamination and other relevant attributes so these tests are basically depends upon the uh, different kind of formulations and uh, every every uh, organization are having their internal procedure to test the finished product right next is stability testing so qc labs perform stability testing to assess the long term stability of pharmaceutical products under various environmental conditions so this helps determine the shelf life storage requirement and proper packaging to ensure the product integrity uh, over the period of time right So now next is method development and validation. So QC Labs develop a validate analytical method to accurately and reliably test the pharmaceutical products, right? So basically this involves optimizing the parameters such as sensitivity, specificity, accuracy, precision and robustness to ensure the method is suitable for its intended use, right? Next is documentation and record keeping so qc labs maintain detailed records for all testing activities including test protocol results any deviations or incidents or corrective and preventive actions right so basically uh, this documentation is essential for demonstrating the compliance with respect to the regulatory requirement and for the supporting the product release decision right next is uh, investigation of out of specification results so in the event of os results qc labs conduct thorough investigation to identify the root cause of the os and implement the uh, corrective and preventive action right so next is laboratory incident investigation so in the event of laboratory incidents qc labs conduct thorough investigation to identify the root cause of the incidents and implement the respective kappa right next is quality assurance support so qc labs collaboratively uh, and closely work with quality assurance department to ensure that all testing activities are performed in accordance with the current good manufacturing practices and other relevant regulations and guidelines right 
Next is continuous improvement. So QC Labs continuously strive to improve their processes, methodologies, and technologies to enhance the efficiency and uh, accuracy and overall quality performance. Right. Now next is GLP section. So this section mainly provides the non-routine support to smooth running of QC Lab. So mainly they are responsible for instrument calibration and maintenance. So GLP section ensure that all analytical instrument and equipment are properly calibrated, maintained and validated to ensure the accurate and reliable test results. Right. Next is working standard reference standard maintenance. So GLP section also ensure all working standards are timely qualified and reference standard and working standard are sufficiently available to perform the routine testing. Right. Next is HPLC GC column management. So basically GLP section manage the availability of column all times which are required as per the product price. Right. So. Next is other additional inventory management. So GLP section also responsible to manage and ensure the availability of different solvents, chemicals, reagents, including stationary items also. So uh, they ensure the availability all the time in the laboratory, right? So now we will discuss what are some common analytical techniques used in quality control laboratory, right? So pharmaceutical quality control laboratories employ a variety of analytical techniques to access the purity, safety and efficacy of pharmaceutical products. Right. So com some common analytical techniques used in pharmaceutical quality control may include but not limited. So first one is HPLC that is called high performance liquid chromatography. So HPLC is a versatile technique used for the separation, identification and quantity of the pharmaceutical compound. It is commonly used to analyze the APIs, impurities, degradation product, assay and related substance. Next is gas chromatography that is GC. So GC is used to separate and analyze volatile compounds such as resi residual solvents, volatile impurities and degradation products. It is particularly useful for analyzing small molecule and organic compounds. Right. Next is UV visible spectroscopy. So UV visible spectroscopy is employed to quantify the concentration of the compound that observes light in the UV or visible rays. So it is often used for the quantitative analysis uh, for API or calorimetric assays or purity assessment or maybe sometime for the identification test, right? So now next is infrared spectroscopy that is IR spectroscopy. So basically it is utilized for qualitative and quantitative analysis of pharmaceutical compounds based on their molecule, uh, molecular vibrations. Right? So it is commonly used for identification of functional group, characterization of polymorph and detection of impurities. Right? Next is mass spectrometry that is MS. So it is a powerful technique used for the identification and characterization of pharmaceutical compounds based on their mass to charge ratio. And uh, it is employed for structural elucidation, identification of unknown compounds and detection of traces the impurities, right? Next is titration techniques. So titration methods such as acid beads, titration, redox titration, or complexometric titration are used to determine uh, the concentration of active ingredients, uh, maybe sometime assay potency and assess the chemical purity into the drugs. Right. Next is dissolution testing. So dissolution testing is used to assess the release rate of active pharmaceutical ed, uh, ingredients from so, uh, solid doses forms, right, such as tablets, capsule. Right, uh, and uh, it also helps to ensure the consistent drug release and bioavailability. Right. So now next is Carl Fisher titration. So Carl Fisher titration is a specialized technique used for the quantitative determination of water content in pharmaceutical samples. So basically, it is uh, particularly important for assessing the stability and shelf life of moisture sensitive products right uh, those product which contains the moisture 
right in the form of uh, water molecule next is particle size analysis so particle size analysis techniques such as laser diffraction microscopy and sieve analysis are employed to characterize the part, uh, particle size distribution of pharmaceutical powders or suspensions right or different kind of other formulation also so particle size influence the dissolution bioavailability and uh, product performance right next is microbiological testing so this method includes the microbial enumeration uh, sterility testing and microbial identification which are used to assess the microbial quality and sterility of pharmaceutical products right so particularly sterile doses forms and biologics you can say right and uh, apart from this there are uh, many more analytical techniques which are used in the quality control laboratory so maybe i will make a detailed video on each thing right so friends this is all about the basic overview of quality control laboratory in the pharmaceutical industry i hope it will help to understand what is qc lab and its different function and roles right so thank you very much for watching the video